Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo December 16, 2022. Today's transits can introduce some feelings of doubt, and they can slow you down. Just for now, it's hard to make sense of the signals you're receiving. You may be in a better place if you entertain daydreams and avoid expecting everything to run as scheduled. It's a good idea to separate business and pleasure since lines blur easily today. Aim to keep things simple as a counter-strategy, as convoluted as things seem. Making promises based on current motivation levels is not a good idea since they can be up and down. Look for ways to strengthen weaker areas of your life that may be holding you back from shining, particularly with routines that have become slack. The moon's move into your privacy sector is another reason to lay low, rest, and reflect rather than push ahead without a plan. Don't expect a pleasant day ahead. As you look around you, you could feel imprisoned like you're in the eye of a hurricane. This is because the mighty sun is facing off in a square with a wicked Neptune in the sky. This will cause darkness to rise around you like demons in the night. Your anxiety will spike and if you've engaged in any nefarious tactics in regard to your personal or romantic life, expect nightmares to possess you. Something wicked is coming for those who have tempted fate. Be especially careful of what you say, post, or announce, and something from your past may even come back to bite you. Focus on not letting your nerves get the best of you today. Now that the moon is in Virgo, you may feel like your stress and criticalness are heightened on the subconscious level. Since the sun in Sagittarius also squares Neptune in Pisces, it might be challenging to speak up at work. Your tone, turf, and timing may feel off throughout your workday. Although it might be somewhat challenging, it would be best to work through any miscommunication or stress to overcome any gray areas in your work life. You will be glad that you said something. Earlier in the week the moon's friendly aspect to the south node in your income sector as it made its last visit to your career sector for the year, gave you a better red on the income side of the financial fence. Today it is doing the same on the other side of the financial fence. It is a friendly aspect to the north node in your financial sector that is not just fueling your financial confidence, instincts and imagination but is helping to balance the scales between money coming in and money going out. Today's planetary alignment gives you the ability to see yourself for the good, beautiful person that you are. If you have been tending to your needs and paying close attention to yourself, diet, exercise, and sleep, you will feel especially good. If you have been feeling guilty because you've been distracted and neglecting your body, such a benevolent aspect reaches deep into your core and spreads its healing rose gold light. Get for some social contact today. The essence of this day is certain to encourage this in you, and chances are that once you're out, you'll be glad you made the move. Don't lock yourself away in the house or office today. Even if it means pushing yourself to talk to some new folks, do so. You need to have this kind of contact in order to stay balanced, and there is no time like this day to make it happen. If today's nostalgic and reflective lunar vibes have put a speed bump in the heart of the working week the timing couldn't be better. At what can be the busiest point of any year, things are likely to be even more hectic this year with Jupiter in his last full week in your work sector. Whether at work or with whatever it is that keeps you busy or occupies your time, the moon is making sure that you are making time to catch your breath. It is those circuit breakers that will help you to retain your productivity and creativity. On the same day that the sun not only moves into his final seven days in your communication sector but of all planetary activity on the communication front, he moves into a friendly aspect to the dwarf planet Eris in your relationship sector. Not peaking until tomorrow, this is a huge opportunity to not only get the communication lines open on the relationship front but ahead of Jupiter's return to your relationship sector next week. Our Eyes in the Sky Themes today revolve around passion, activity, optimism, and the way energy moves. Be aware of your personal boundaries, and remove yourself from any situation in which people don't respect your thoughts or voice. Confusion could hang fairly thick in the air, 
so try not to get immersed in situations that don't make sense to you. Watch out for gaslighting behavior in yourself and others, and don't let anyone invalidate your feelings with conversational gymnastics. Intensify contacts to people, because they find you particularly likable right now. Plan your leisure time with family and good friends and most importantly, make your plans together. You might feel like ringing up an old friend, the time is perfect to revive and strengthen old ties. This will make it easy for you to make new contacts and maybe even lifelong friendships. You may feel that others are acting unusually, you must quietly accept their conduct, and not get upset if things temporarily don't go your way. Maybe you're more irritable and easily upset by things that have not mattered for a long time or possibly the answer is just a simple case of getting some much needed rest. The desire to break free from restrictive situations is real today, and you might have trouble focusing on tasks at work or school. Remember to ground yourself and focus on your breath if you feel overwhelmed. Use the energy today to set your intention to pursue your wildest dreams, but don't take any drastic action now. The lunar energy can be unpredictable and unstable, so expect the unexpected today and try not to let people or situations get the better of you. After midnight, the moon enters Virgo, exiting its void of course which began yesterday morning. During this lunar period, we achieve emotional equilibrium via organizational or logistical efforts. We want our lives to run as efficiently as possible, and are attracted to systems that mitigate stressors. Over the next two days, we look for ways to be of service to others. This can be a very productive time, ideal for decluttering our surroundings and getting routines in good working order. However, with such high standards, we can also be especially critical of others and ourselves. Whatever you take on seems to work out well, and everyone who you come into contact with admires the enthusiasm and expertise you show, giving a welcome boost to your self-confidence. Make sure you respect those who admire you and don't behave in an egotistical way, you may still need their continuing support if things do not turn out as expected. Go out and enjoy life to the full. You exude an inner calm and spontaneity that others find irresistible, so join in activities with them. Start a new hobby or visit an old friend. Whatever you do, reflect and find out what's been on your mind. Unable to connect with others as easily as normal, you feel misunderstood, deciding those around you are behaving unacceptably. It is important to allow some distance between you, rather than have endless discussions. Incorporate their point of view and feelings which ultimately enhances your relationship. After sunup, the Sagittarius Sun squares off with Neptune in Pisces, facilitating self-deception. We might feel guilty, ashamed, or paranoid about actions taken, even if they don't warrant such scrutiny. As our self-esteem takes a nosedive, those with malicious intent recognize our vulnerable state and may seek to exploit it. We risk placing our faith in bad actors and becoming gullible to their schemes. If possible, avoid making deals or important decisions today. Steer clear of mind-altering or addictive substances. Expect misunderstandings or misdiagnoses. This is a better transit to use for artistic or creative experimentation than spiritual studies or divinatory practices.